you know, each year, up to 200,000 babies across the globe are born with clubfoot. These statistics make clubfoot one of the most common congenital disabilities in the world. The defect occurs when a baby's foot twists inward and downward. To spread awareness for this common congenital disability, June 3 has been set aside to unite those affected by clubfoot to inspire and encourage each other. A clinical supervisor for the Hope Works Clubfoot program, Mrs. Esther Jeshi, spoke on the significance of the day in an earlier interview. Clubfoot is a birth deformity or a birth defect that usually affects a child's foot and ankle joints, where the foot instead of facing forward rather turns inwards downwards and inwards so you have the foot facing each other it can affect just one leg or both feet together research is still ongoing the cause at the moment is not known but it's believed that there's some genetic component in that if a family member has clubfoot it's likely you can give birth to a child with clubfoot. There are some environmental factors also in play, maybe a mother who smokes, or there are sometimes some other conditions. The child can be born with conditions that can also cause clubfoot, which is usually called the secondary clubfoot. When clubfoot is not treated, yeah. it becomes a deformity. Mm -hmm. It becomes a disability. Mm -hmm. The child is unable to walk well. The child walks at the lateral side of the foot. Yeah. So if this is corrected, now we take, we let the child, the child becomes confident the child has a normal foot, wears the normal shoes, walk well, be able to participate in any activity that the child would want to. So it gives them their confidence. The stigmatization that comes with being disabled is all, all goes away. We have families that becomes happy because they don't have children with disability again. So it's, it's really good if it's treated early.